Dateline, Chiselton, and yet another day to send the pulse rate of Chiselton racing. Even Postman Q could not resist a jig that airy fairy morning. Good morning, Super Grand. Good morning, Postman Pew. I see you've got the do. Aye. For everyone knew that soon would come one of the most important days in the Chiselton calendar. One person in Chiselton, however, was missing the cheery spirit that day. Yes, today, the Scunner Campbell's Jews to the Gangster's Guild are due. And once more, funds are low. If only I had a rich friend somewhere. Anyone. But today, Lady Luck was ready to shine on even the Scunner Campbell. For at that precise moment, heading straight for town, was the very personification of Jory made good. Coming back the thousands of miles from London town to what he always called his roots was none other than piano playing Newcastle Brown. And with him, something special. The Chiselton Pigeon Race is at hand. We've been waiting for this day for ages, haven't we, Rosie Red Lips? Oh, oh, her name is Rosie. Well, all pigeons are named after that owner's favorite female, Super Grand. Is that right, Postman Pugh? I thought your wife's name was Edna. It is Super Grand. It is. Also sparkling with the same high spirits that day was Super Grand's friend, Inventor Black, who just completed his latest, greatest invention. The world's most far-reaching catapult, Edison. But who wants a far-reaching catapult, Granddad? Well, someone will someday. I'm perfectly certain of that, my darling girl. <laughs> Chirruped, the Villa Villainous remained under a cloud. That's the gangster's guild till them about fundraising. Hello! It's Paulie Ruthless, boss. Paulie Ruthless? Younger brother of Rolly Ruthless, boss. An important visitor, you see. In Chisholm? Not rich by any faint chance, is he? <laughs> yeah, I think he's worth a few, Bob. Give it a rest, will you? Can't you see Mr. Rufus is on the phone? Who did you say he was? Newcastle Brown. The great Geordie piano thumper, you know. Oh, him. And very shortly afterwards. Uh, well, he's looking for somewhere to stay, anonymous like. You know how it is when you're fabulous and famous. <laughs> uh, no, I don't suppose you do, no. But I thought on Newcastle's behalf, I'd ask, because nowhere is more anonymous than your gaff. Mr. Piano thumping Newcastle Brown stay with me. Why, it'll be an honour and a pleasure, sir. Have a cigar. Oh, thank you, Mr. Rufus. That's my pleasure. Mr. Newcastle Brown, may I call you Newcastle? You can call me sir. Oh, thank you. I've got a little something for you to take care of, like. Eee, don't you talk posh like for a Geordie. It's almost understandable. Take care of it uh, for payment, sir. Uh, a basket, boss. Shh. Expect it's one of them hampers full of uh, all that rubbish what rich people eat. Black fishes' eggs and dead peasants, I expect. <laughs> no, 
Nickelodeon, boss. It's a rotten pigeon. A champion pigeon, this lass. Very nice. So while I'm away doing my concerts and recitals... Your piano thumping. Holy said you'd look after her. But I don't know nothing about it. Of course, Mr. Piano Thumping, son. Be it another honor and a pleasure. My, my, my. To think I've known you all this time and I never knew you were a fancier. A what? A fancier. One who races pigeons. I'm just looking after it for a friend. Oh, a friend, eh? What's her name? Um, Fast Flo. Fast Flo? That's your Castle Brown's bird, isn't it? Ah, of course. The pulsating, piano-playing Brown. You don't think we're giving it a bit too much to eat, do you, Uncle? Yeah, uh, well, uh, build her up. That's what Newcastle said. And, eh, uh, it'll be a nice fat fee for me at the end of it. <laughs> but unfortunately for the Scunner Campbell, he had as much luck with female feathered birds as he had with female tartaned ones, for the night before the great pigeon race was due to start. that the solution dawned. Just find a replica, of course. It's the only way I'll escape Polly Rufless's knuckles. <laughs> Quick, this way, lads. Boss, what boss? Boss, what boss? Where are we going to find another pigeon like fast through? I mean, Trafalgar oh. Square's a bit far like, and the race will start in a minute. Now what's he up to? It's not necessary up to anything, Willie. But remember what me granny always says. The Scunner Campbell's always, always up to something. Are you sure this is going to work, boss? Of course it'll work, you knuckle-headed noodle. It's going to work. <laughs> For the race, eh, Scanner? Oh, certainly, Mr. Ruthless. <laughs> Looking forward to it, eh? <laughs> and how's fast flow? Oh, a fine, a fine. <laughs> Just great. Oh, well, can I have a look at her then? Eh, of course you can, certainly. Absolutely. <laughs> well, where is she then? Here she is. Told you she would be in fine fettle. Well, see you at the start, then. Absolutely. At the start. Don't worry, we'll be there. Good grief. Wake up, won't you? Oh, Mr. Ruthless. Campbell, what have you done? Just 
She had an accident, Mr. Ruthless. An accident? What sort of accident? A, a sleepy accident, Mr. Ruthless. What? Hey, don't worry, Mr. Ruthless. It'll be all right, I promise you. Do you realize this is a priceless pearl of a pigeon? The hottest favorite for years! It's all right. Don't worry. I've got a replica. You know, just for his supermarket bag. It's not even alive! Well, it was the neatest I could get. And how bird brain is a frozen pigeon gonna cover the distance between the start and the end of the race? Oh, easy peasy, Mr. Ruthless. Hey, Tubbs? Would just Nick Inventor Black's latest, greatest invention? Do what? Meanwhile, the scene was set for the start of the big race. Will all entrants kindly report to the starting point? Now. Rosie Red Lips. <laughs> Thank you, Postman Pew. Next. Oh, fast flow, eh? Oh, yes, dear, that is correct, yes, fast flow. As in Newcastle Brown. As in Newcastle Brown. You never said a true word. Frost flow. Spot on that. Spot right, on that. Right, 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 right. You never said a true word. <laughs> Foreigners. What is super grand? Well, there were 30 wee dicky birds registered at the start of this race. And my supervision tells me there are only 29 of them up there right now. All clear. All clear, Uncle. Right, come on. And so it was that little oh. frozen Chisbury was about to set forth on an epic flight. I hope you know what you're doing, Campbell. Yeah. Rest assured, Mr. Ruthless. Rest assured. Ready, lads? That looks like a straggler, that one. But how are we going to make sure our bird wins, boss? Easy peasy, lads. We just stay. Capture the rest. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> you could be right. roared on, Inventor Black discovered something missing. Nicked, I tell you. Nicked. This very hour of this very day. Oh, not your latest, greatest invention, Inventor Black. Not again. My bestest ever ginormous catapult. But how done a Nick stupid catapult? Who indeed were they? Who indeed? That's the style, boys. Not much fun at no lads. That's it, now. Bring it forward now. That's it, right? Oh! One more pull, Dustin. Just one more catapult. You know one, Dustin. Comes in four, two. One more, and that fat feel be mine. All mine. Success at last. Hey, wait a minute.
Meanwhile. Okay, Dustin. Ready. Steady. Sheer genius. Oh, Mr. Rufus, how wise you were to hire the cosmic talents of Scanner Campbell. I wonder where our scanner's going on. Help! 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 Boss! 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 Boss, where are you, Boss? Boss! Boss! Oh, somebody please help, please! Oh, 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 oh. You know what you need. I need the fire brigade, you stupid. No, you need something much faster than the fire brigade. Will you hurry up and get to the point, you? You need super clown. Yes, yes. super clown. Oh no, no, her. Super one, six. Super thing. <laughs> For help assails my ear. Someone is trapped and filled with fear. in the hope they will enjoy them more than I have. To my nephew, Tom. <laughs> Minchpack with a rotten cigar stall. Oh, the cinch me bird man of Alcatraz. Save me, your sparrow legs. What do you save your dear old pal? Help! Oh, the other one.
gun of Campbell, slightly singed, I say. You and your rotten trick cigars. At least we won. I mean, fair and square. At least we won. Oh, I'm afraid not, Mr. Ruthless. Because something tells me if you turn that wee bird over, it'll say, wait one and a half pounds, thaw two hours before cooking. You twit! You forgot to take the supermarket label off! Which must make it about the only frozen pigeon ever to win a pigeon race. <laughs> Suddenly, Super Grand Super Hearing picked up a special sound. She's alive! Super Grand. You can stake your heroes, your Robert De Niro. 